Welcome to another edition of Toolbox Tuesday. Today we're going to look at cleaning the flame sensor. Cleaning the flame sensor is something that we should do on any preventative maintenance check uh, when we're going through the heating cycle of a gas furnace. A lot of technicians have different products that they use to clean the flame sensor with. Um, but Subco makes this flame sensor cleaner um, and it's a very simple tool and easy to clean, prevents false starts and it has a key, convenient little key ring um, placeholder where you can actually attach it to your keys or attach it to a belt clip or something like that or even your tool bag. Um, I've seen them and I was even one of the ones who did it where I had my little steel wool stuffed down in a capacitor box or just thrown in my tool bag. But this gives us a way to actually clean a flame sensor keep the tool in a convenient place where we can easily locate it and it adds to our overall professional look. So we're going to start our system up here and look at our flame sensor and then talk about how we clean that, that deal. I've already got my meter kind of hooked up to my flame sensor as if I were going to check it. Got the flame sensor in series with my meter so we're going to go ahead and we should see a reading here from um, our flame sensor back to our meter to kind of tell us uh, what's going on with that. So as we go through our system, we'll start up here shortly and then we'll get a reading. The cool thing about this uh, this, dip, this flame sensor that we have is just the packaging. It's easy to get to. So we open it up and you'll notice that on the bottom there's a little place where we're going to actually stick the flame sensor in and then kind of clean it that way and then attach it. So our, 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 our fire is lit and we'll wait for our blower to come on, but we see we get a reading on our meter from, from our flame sensor at 3.1 microamps. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to clean our flame sensor off with our flame sensor cleaner and then see if our numbers change for a more, uh, more accurate working or, or a flame sensor that picks up and reads better for us at that point in time. So let's go ahead and disconnect this. I'm going to turn everything off. I'm going to disconnect my flame sensor, clean it, and go through that process for you. Here's our flame sensor. Uh, very easy tool to use. You'll see where it has a little hole where you're going to stick your flame sensor in. So we'll take that, stick our flame sensor in in there. We'll just kind of clean that whole thing up. And it's, you can feel it kind of as you, as you slide, it, slide it across, you can feel it you know, kind of cleaning the flame sensor all the way around. You can even see the inside of it there, uh, what it looks like on the inside as you, as you push that through and clean, clean your flame sensor. You can look in there and see where those, uh, the brushes that clean it go around. So you turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it till it goes all the way down and then you pull up and pull it out. So that's our flame sensor cleaned off there. And we'll uh, go ahead and put it back in and see if our reading changes. All right, so we've gone ahead and we've gone ahead and cleaned our flame sensor and rehooked our flame sensor up, got it hooked back up to our meter. So we'll be able to look on the screen and see how effective or our cleaning was. I attached it to a little keychain that I have here on my belt for easy access. I know a lot of technicians carry things like this that have their their, um, maybe their badges on it or, or business card holders or different things like that. Maybe even some uh, screws or small or screwdrivers or small utility knives or tools that they may use on the job. But here's a nice, easy, clean, convenient way to carry this tool. And so, it, uh, let's see. But me, it's around the same. But as you can tell, imagine if we had a dirty flame sensor. Um, that number would be a lot lower. You could actually clean it, check it with your meter, and then go ahead and make sure that we don't have our flame dropping out because our flame sensor is dirty and is not reading flame. Make sure that when you put it back in that you don't get any oils or anything like that on the, the metal from your hands. Make sure you keep that area nice and clean because you just spent that time cleaning it off. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of, of Toolbox Tuesday. Uh, we hope you enjoyed that particular product and we'll see you next time.